Hello and welcome to another edition of the Wind Down Video Blogs. I am your host, Ben Franco. Uh, today we wanted to uh, give Chardonnay Day its due uh, and celebrate it. Uh, it occurred on uh, last Saturday, I think it was the 21st. But let's just celebrate it all week or as long as the wine lasts. So we're going to do some, uh, some Chardonnay uh, uh, this week. So uh, we got two fantastic Chardonnays. These are again uh, kind of bringing you some wineries that I visited uh, uh, two weeks ago on my trip to uh, Napa. Uh, so uh, bringing you this week Chateau Montalena, Napa Valley Chardonnay. Uh, obviously the press on Chateau Montalena, if you saw the movie Bottle Shock or if you have read the, uh, the book, um, they uh, won the prestiging uh, tasting of Paris in 1976. Um, and this stylistically is kind of the wine that kind of won them that uh, that specific uh, tasting that you know put Napa Valley on the map. Uh, then the other wine we're going to taste uh, is Chapelet Napa Valley Chardonnay. Uh, they're both uh, 2013, but stylistically they're both very different. The Chateau Montalena, um, no malolactic fermentation, which basically means it doesn't go through a second fermentation, which is more of a bacterial fer uh, fermentation uh, that kind of develops uh, a buttery. Uh, aroma and a, a little bit more of a creamy flavor. So this does not go through that. Um, where the Chapelet does, about 30% of it goes through that. Uh, the Chateau Montalena has only about 10% new French oak. The rest of it is in uh, three, four, five, six time used oak. Uh, so a lot less flavor imparted. Whereas the Chapelet has about 30% new French oak used. Okay. So we're going to taste them side by side and we'll go from there. All right, we'll do the uh, Chateau Montalene first. Uh, we'll take a quick, quick look at the color there. Uh, very nice golden uh, straw kind of color. Uh, very, very bright. Um, I would say uh, probably uh, medium, medium plus tiers here. Um, not much staining happening. Green apple, apple. Um, kind of like a hint of sour cream. Maybe some like gooseberry kind of thing happening. On the palate, it's very precise, driven. Uh, the acidity is, is balanced, there's some minerality there. But that green, green apple uh, is really bright, comes, comes right through. There's this kind of odd kind of sour cream kind of component happening as well uh, that uh, I find very interesting. Um, really focused, really driven uh, Chardonnay. Um, again, kind of missing a little bit of uh, maybe something that um, those of you who normally drink a specific type of Chardonnay um, that you might find uh, maybe to not be as desirable, but it's a different style and stylistically it's different and it's kind of nice to uh, change it up a little bit. Um, so let's go to the Chapelet. Um, color might be a little bit deeper, just a tiny, tiny bit, uh, a little bit, maybe a little bit more golden to yellow. Um, tears wise, we're looking about about the same. The green apple is definitely there on this one as well. Uh, but then I get a little bit of a little bit of clove, a little bit of vanilla. Not 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 glowing, not, not a, point, a, a ton. There's a hint, a tiny, tiny hint of butter. It's not overpowering. Maybe that sour cream you want to kind of pop into as well. The 
green apple, the butter, there's a toastiness to the butter uh, kind of coming through. This wine lays a little fatter on your tongue, so a little bit more body here than the, the Chateau Montalena. It's not saying one is correct and one isn't correct, they're just stylistically two different wines. Uh, both very, very good, but stylistically different. Uh, we're going to have these both available as side-by-side -side comparisons uh, this week uh, while they last at Wine Yelp Cafe. So we'll see you next time on the Wine Yelp Vlogs.